Good day and hello, this is Monty Hipsch from Aussie Web Conversion and this is an introductory video on Google Analytics. Now, I've, this is my analytics account and you can see I have many different accounts here. I'm going to go to my Aussie Web one and use our local directory for um, this demonstration. And the, you will have probably only one or two line items. In this case, I'm looking at Aussie Web and I'm going to look at View Report. So this is the dashboard and what you see on the dashboard, first we look up here and we can see that it's recording for the last month. You can in fact drop this down and change this rate to a week or a day or whatever you like, but do realize analytics data is usually about a day old. Um, we'll leave it the way it is for the time being. And this is your dashboard and it shows your traffic um, over this 30-day uh, period. And the key points here are you have the number of visitors, the pages viewed, the average pages viewed per visit, the bounce rate, which is the percentage of people that only went to one page, and the average time on site, how long they were with your site, and what percentage were new visitors. And, and this is useful information for you because it tells you mainly if you're engaging with them, they're going to at least two pages. In our case, it's a directory, so they're looking at a listing and a details page. Um, and it's taking them, they're spending a minute and a half on the site, and over two-thirds of our traffic is new. Now if we scroll down to the um, traffic source overview, this is very useful, but you need to click on View Report to get more details, because this is just a pie chart, and it's not telling us enough information. So by going on View More Details, it will bring us up um, more information and you'll actually need to again click on view full report to actually get enough detail to see what's actually occurring. So what we're seeing here is Google Organic is our number one traffic source followed by direct that's people putting in our URL directly or they've bookmarked it. Uh, we've got Google and Yahoo, Bing is the new Microsoft and there's uh, AOL, America Online, here's Census Referral, and Ask and Optus Zoo. So you can see where the traffic is and again whether the visits are longer and the time on site for all this information. Um, and this gives you a better understanding of your website and its performance. If we go back to the dashboard, we'll see the second thing that's useful to study here is your content overview. And again, you need to click the view report. Um, and then you need to scroll down and view a full report. Uh, this is going to show the pages in the site, who is viewing what pages. And this is very, very important information to understand about your website. What pages people are on, how much time they're on them, which ones are engaging them. Again, Google Analytics tends to keep these reports short. Here's only the top 10. But if you look in the lower right hand corner, you can change this to, I'll change it to 50 pages and get more information all about your site. So you'll know which pages people are engaging with, uh, which pages have more time on them, uh, which have higher bounce rates. Uh, and this is very important for you. Um, the second thing that you need to see in this is the, uh, if you go to visitors, so you can understand what's happening with the visitors, there is a thing called benchmarking. And if you click on benchmarking, it gives you the opportunity to review your website as it compares to other people's websites of similar size. Um, so what you're seeing here is this is our website, the blue line, and the black line is the benchmark. So in, in our case, our directory is getting significantly more visitors uh, than simmer, similar sites of similar size. Um, and then as we scroll down, we can see even our page views, um, we, we have more page views than the average site. That's total page views. An interesting one is this one below where we're talking about pages per visits. Uh, the average site that's competing with us, which has less traffic and less overall views in volume, has a, a visitor more engaged. They go to four different pages, while visitors on our site go to only two. And that's because of the structure of our site where we've got a directory page and a details page. There really are, there is only two pages to go to. Uh, our bounce rate slightly higher in that the people uh, may just see a page and leave. It's a directory. They find their information. They go. Average time on site. Our 
visitor volume is less um, than uh, the industry average. But this is interesting, we get many more new visitors compared to the average. This is data that you need to have uh, to understand how your website is performing against your competitors in the industry. And remember, this is from analytics, so it's all the traffic. Um, I hope you found that valuable. I will be making more of these videos on, more, uh, on many of the other features that you see here and so that I can identify for you the critical measures that you need to do. There's just so much information here. You can drown in it, and I'm hoping these videos will help you. Thanks for your time. Hi, this is Monty Hipsch from Aussie Web Conversion. Uh, today I'm going to show you a short video on how when you're in your Google Analytics account, you can uh, look at all of your AdWords data. Now this is very important for two reasons. Uh, if you used to manage your own AdWords account, you're used to seeing impressions and click-through rates and cost per click, etc. Um, and even if you're not, um, this is information that you're going to find valuable because um, Aussie Web is 100% transparent and every dollar you spend uh, for Google clicks goes to Google. So I want to show you exactly so how you can see that data. I'm using the Real Estate Institute of New South Wales. Your screen will be similar, but it will show your company name up here, your website address, and we just click on View Report. Now, you can see this has been recorded between uh, December and January. You can speak your own timeline here if you want, but I'll just use the one that they've given us. But you can see that there is a big dip here in the uh, Christmas New Year's period. Now what I really want to show you um, is how to find your AdWords data. And it's a bit tricky because it's a bit hidden. Uh, there are other videos that explain to you what these things mean and, and how you can understand visits and page views and analytics data, but I really want to show you AdWords data, AdWords data. So what we do is we go over here to underneath the dashboard and we select traffic sources. And a menu comes up and here you see an AdWords menu and you click on the arrow and you see AdWords campaign and keyword positions. So let's click on the AdWords campaigns and I'll pick the New South Wales one and what you're seeing of course is the detailed information which is analytics data about time on sites and pages per visit and visits but that's not the click data, that's not the keywords and what they're costing but if you go up here where you're right there you'll see clicks and if you click on clicks there's your AdWord data. This is what you're used to seeing in AdWords. The amount of impressions, the amount of visits, the clicks, the cost, the click-through rate, the average cost per click. This is all the data you're used to seeing. And since we have multiple ad groups here, we can drill into one, like this real estate one. And now we're actually looking at the specific keywords that are broad matched, their impressions, their clicks, their costs, their cost per click, click-through rate, all the data is here that you're used to seeing for AdWords. And if we have goals set, you actually can see return on investment and margin data here, which hasn't been set for this client yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what you're missing and what you're used to seeing in AdWords is the, the keyword positions. And actually, in analytics, the keyword position data is much richer. You come over here to keyword positions, and you pick something like Real Estate Institute, and you click on it, and it shows you the amount of times that the sponsored links were moved on top of the organic listings. And they, this, for this search term, they were in position one, 388, and position two, nine times. And sometimes when they were, these weren't showing, it was on the right-hand side. If we go down to a, uh, a certificate one, we'll see here the amount of times it was in position one, two, or three when it's been moved over on top of the sponsored links or position one, two, and four on the right-hand side. So you actually have much greater positioning data inside uh, Google Analytics accessing AdWords than you do inside your AdWords account. So that's where all the data is hidden. Again, you just go over to visitors, um, not visitors, I'm sorry, traffic sources. You pick AdWords and you drill into your campaign and it's the little tab up here, clicks, that tells you what's happening. And there's the data that you've been looking for. Now, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to give myself a ring or talk with Jeff or talk with Jeremy or Alan or Nigel. They're all familiar with this and how to find the data. Thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.